During this year, I have tested almost 100 paddle rackets and in this video I'm gonna tell you which are my 10 favorite rackets because, well, you know, now in this new year, coming new year, you will have sales on this, on this racket. So stay tuned because I will tell you which are my 10 favorite rackets for this 2022. Hello every paddle players out there. In this video, I'm gonna tell you which are my favorite paddle rackets. And something very important for you to know is mm, there's no the best racket. It's the best racket for you. And it depends on you, on the kind of player that you are. But obviously these 10 rackets are, are really high level, they are the best of the best. And well, anyway, this is my opinion. And please uh, write on the comment below which are your best or, or your top 10 rackets and anyway let's go let's move on and go with the first one it's not my favorite but this is the first one okay the Babolat technical viper in this case well is Le Bronze racket as you can see uh, well this 2023 we have a new one and it's quite different so that's even more important for me in my opinion this is a good racket is uh, you know for high level not as a high level as the 2023 so in my opinion this is one of the best racket in, in mark in market 12k carbon avant shape really long grip for all of you who are coming from tennis uh, in, into paddle the core is a sandwich it has fast rubber in the in the inside and slow uh, rubber in the outside so you can feel that when you're playing low speed the ball is going out quite fast but you can feel that when, when the, uh, the speed is rising up, uh, well, you can feel that the ball is really going out of the, of the course. So, well, in my opinion, the sweet point is not really wide. So if you're, be if you're a beginner or you're medium, medium level, this, is maybe, this will not be the, the, most, the most suitable racket for you and maybe you can uh, go to the air for example or maybe to the counter is an, another kind of uh, another model in, in Babolat but anyway this is one of my favorite you can uh, you can find the, the spin uh, in the surface uh, it's a 3d spin so well one of my favorites uh, check it out I have here more uh, more videos they're in Spanish but anyway I think that you can understand because I have subtitles so uh, Babola Technical Viper. The next racket is uh, Bull Paddle, Bull Paddle Vertex 3. The specs are quite similar. We have 12K carbon, uh, we have that black Eva uh, core. So the feeling when you're playing with, uh, with this racket is medium, medium hard. It's not too, too hard. So I, I, in my opinion, this is a racket for a big amount of player so if uh, you're from medium and advanced you will feel very comfortable with this racket obviously if you're a beginner you can play with this racket but you are not going to feel the difference between this racket and another bull paddle so in my opinion this is uh, a good racket one of the of the best rackets you can find this air react channel in the middle in the in the middle of the racket so it moves really fast uh, when you're changing the direction mostly when you're defending and maybe you're expecting a high uh, a high balance but but no way the sensation when you're playing with this racket is that you can move uh, you can move it really fast and talking about the grip we, we can find the hesa core the hesa core helps you to evaporate the the sweat when you're playing and mostly with the with your elbow injury all of you who has that that pain in the elbow well hesa core try to help you and this is something that you can really feel when when you're playing with uh, with this racket anyway if you haven't tried this hesacor i highly recommend you to try it firstly uh, before uh, buying the racket but anyway you can remove it if you don't like it you can remove uh, the hesacor and using the regular rib as, as uh, you have always used the next racket bull paddle hack 3 as you can see i'm talking about well, the best of the best in every brand and one of the reasons is because they are 
high quality uh, paddle rackets and the second thing is you're going to find bigger discounts when, when you're buying the racket now in 2023 so I think in my opinion if I can I will hold on until 2023 and I will buy one of, the, of these rackets. About the hack this is Paquito Navarro's racket so it's mostly the same settings that in, than in the Vertex but you are you can feel that it hasn't the, the spin on the, on the surface. The core is faster in this case. In this model, you can feel that the ball is going out from the, from the racket fastly uh, with, the, with the hack. And maybe when you're, when you're watching this, this racket, you can expect uh, a, high, a high balance, but it's not the case, it's not that case. When you're playing with this racket, you can feel that it moves uh, really fast. So I highly recommend to try this before, before buying, but anyway, it's a top level, uh, top level racket. Adidas Metalbond Hard, there are two versions, okay? The regular one with the medium, uh, medium core, and this, uh, it, you, you can find a harder core, so when you're playing with this, uh, well, you can feel that the street point is smaller, but uh, it's more progressive when you're trying to hit the ball faster and harder, you can feel that the ball goes out uh, more more stable, more steady. So, in my opinion, this is a high-level uh, racket if you're at least advanced. Otherwise, you have another mo models in, in, in Adidas. But anyway, as I told you, this is uh, for advanced players to professional players. You can change the, the balance of this racket, as you can see, with these screws. Uh, in, this, in this case, Ale Galan removes all the screws and, and the reason when, when you removed all, all the all the screws you will feel that the balance is uh, really high so you will have you will be more powerful when using the smash the vibra etc so in my opinion check it out uh, try um, and you will find out with which are the best setting for for you uh, according to your level according to your your kind of, of game Next racket, Agustin Tapia's racket, 18K, because we have two models, the 12K and 18K. The differences between these two models is the, the hardness. This is one of the easier rackets I have ever uh, tried. It's very easy to play, you can feel the, the ball ev all the time. The sweet point is so wide, it's, it's impressive. You know, it's plug and play from the very first time. So I really, really like this, this racket. You can find the spin uh, is like sand spin uh, in, in, on, the, on the surface of the racket. So you will be missing if you play uh, quite often, you will, you will miss it. But well, this is, uh, this is maybe is the, one of the weakest point of the racket, but most of all, uh, this is a really, really nice racket for this 2022. In my opinion, all the players can use the, this racket from the beginners to the high level uh, players. But as I told you before, only when you are from medium level to high level player will enjoy the, this, this racket as, as you can. Next racket, Arturo Coelho's racket Head Delta Pro. We have three different models and Pro, the Pro is, you know, the, the high level. Uh, model in this case with head you will find a um, really aggressive racket for all of you who enjoy the smash vibra and you to be attacking at the net you will feel very comfortable attacking at the net with this racket well you will be quite comfortable at the back because uh, this racket obviously the balance is high but it moves quite fast so you will feel comfortable at the back it's not the best place to be with with this racket but you will enjoy it Something that I like very much is uh, the spin on the surface. It's a 3D spin. And talking about the profile who will enjoy this racket, well, during my, my test, uh, I was able to, to smash over the fence from the, from the baseline. So it's a really, really, really powerful uh, racket. One of the most powerful racket I have tried in this 2022. So I highly recommend this racket to all of you who are trying to push this, uh, this attacking game mostly at the net because I think that it, it really makes the difference. Next racket, Siux Electra. This is Franco Stupazuk's uh, racket. 
As you can see, we have 12K carbon. You have the sand spin on the surface. You have a long grip. You've, I really feel comfortable when using this racket because I like this, this kind of, of, of grip. And these two things, two red things, these are the shockouts. Shockouts uh, are made, are designed to absorb all the vibration. Uh, in this case, even you can switch the balance of the racket when, when moving uh, on, the, on the holes of the, of the racket. Uh, as you can see, on this case, with these settings, this uh, is a medium balance, but if you put these shockouts on the top, you will have a high uh, balance. So, well, you, you can change the behavior of the, of the paddle racket. Drop Shot Canyon Pro. This is Pablo Lima's racket. This is uh, a racket for all of you who are, as I told you, with the head who are looking for uh, that improvement when you are attacking at the net. For all of you who enjoy smashing uh, with the overheads, so this is your racket. You can feel a, a high balance. I like very much the grip, it's a long grip, so you will feel very comfortable. All of you who are coming from tennis, you will feel comfortable uh, just grabbing this, this racket. The spin on the surface is a 3D spin. You have the protection on the top of the racket. Well, uh, the, the color is, is, is really nice. So in my opinion, it's a really attractive racket. One of, the, my, one of my favorites uh, of in, in this 2022 and a great option. You have uh, two models, okay? The soft and the pro. This is harder. So all of you who are um, high level players, I think that you will enjoy this racket, maybe if you're a beginner or medium, uh, the soft version will be better for you, will suit uh, better for you. The Wilson Bella Pro, Fernando Balastegin's racket, well, this is high level uh, racket, only if you're from medium to advanced player or even competition player, you will enjoy this racket because it's hard, the sweet point is not very wide, but for all of you who like to, well, to play hard and fast, this is a nice racket because you know all the time you know you can feel the behavior of the of the racket you know exactly how much the, the ball is going to bounce uh, on on your racket and the last one the Nox MM2 as maybe you should know this is my racket we all mejora tu padel uh, community designed this uh, this racket in this year 2022 where we, we were involved for 6 months um, in my opinion, this is a really friendly, friendly racket. Uh, all of you from beginners to advanced player, not, not pro, in my opinion, not pro player will, will enjoy this racket, but from beginners to high level uh, will enjoy it. It's a medium balance. Uh, it's a super wide uh, sweet point. The grip is short, but you can, you can feel when you're playing with it. Uh, you can change direction, you can handle the, the, the racket so good. You can see the, the 3D spin, so when you're using the, all the slides and spins, uh, you will think that, that the ball really, really spins fast. And in the end, it's, uh, it makes everything easy. So it's, a, it's an easy racket, so what? I think that you, all of you who are uh, looking for this uh, sensation when playing paddle will enjoy it. As I told you before, we all will enjoy your comments uh, on the box below because we will learn from your experiences and from your insights if you have tested or any of, of, the, of this racket. So please let me know which are your top 10. I know that there are many, many rackets on, uh, on, the, on the market and I only was able to put 10 just yes, because of the of the title of the of the video but well let me know which are your best rackets in 2022 and we will see you next year with the best rackets in 2023